I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to write a complex number in polar form or modulus argument form. The complex number given to us is z equals to minus 2 plus 2 square root 3 i. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So let's try to represent this and find which quadrant this complex number will lie. So that is the real part. This is the imaginary. Minus 2 means towards the left side. Right? Let's say this is minus 2 for us. Okay? And 2 square root 3 will be somewhere there. So we can say that the complex number that is C. Okay? So from the origin that becomes the complex number let us say that this distance is r and the angle is theta now in complex form you could write this as r theta we have to find what r is and what theta is uh, at times we prefer to write so this form which is given is basically x plus y i is it okay general form uh, the general form for polar will be r cos theta plus i r sin theta x value which is this value right so so it is r cos theta y value is r sin theta so you're replacing y with r sin theta x with r cos theta it's always better to take r common so that becomes the distance away from the pole and then what you get is cos theta plus i sin theta perfect so that becomes the familiar polar form correct now here of course you can find r as square root of let me write in these terms x square plus y square and theta as tan inverse of y over x or you can say tan theta is y over x so theta is tan inverse of y over x to find theta always we have to start with the ac acute angle so to find theta you have to first find the acute angle and then theta so those are the two steps involved okay remember that part okay so you can actually pause the video now answer the question and then look into my suggestions so let's begin so we have the complex number z equals to minus 2 plus 2 square root 3 i as you can see here the x value corresponding is minus 2 y is 2 square root 3 so we can say what r is r is square root of minus 2 square plus 2 square root 3 square is it okay and that gives you square root of this is 4 plus 4 times 3 right 4 times 3 which is 4 plus 12 and which is 16 let me go through all the steps and 4 so the value of r or this magnitude is 4 for us now to find theta we should actually first find the related acute angle tan alpha always take positive values so that means tan alpha is the sine value which is 2 square root 3 divided by the cos value which is minus 2 but you have to take this absolute value since we are in quadrant 1 we are finding acute angle so first step is find related acute angle perfect okay so so what we get here is or we can say that gives you tan alpha equals to square root 3 right tan alpha is square root 3 you can use calculator right or you can use special triangles let me make one here it's good to use special triangles whenever you can right okay so square root 3 means this angle which is pi by 3 or 60 degrees right so we get alpha equals to 
pi by 3, right? Those of you who want to do it in degrees can write 60 degrees. If alpha is pi by 3 in our case, what should be theta? We are in quadrant 2. So 180 minus or pi minus, right? So, okay. So theta is equals to, if I do pi minus pi by 3, so this is, you can say 3 pi by 3. Take away 1 pi, so we get 2 pi by 3. So that is how you get theta in radians and in degrees. 180 minus 60 is 120 degrees correct so we get theta perfect once we get r and theta we can write down the polar form which is z equals to r value of 4 brackets cos of you can write in either i'll prefer radians this time so 2 pi by 3 previous examples have taken degrees okay plus sine i sine i should not forget that's the complex part i sine 2 pi by 3 right so that becomes your polar form for the given complex number i'm anil kumar and i hope the steps are absolutely clear uh, if you have any comments or suggestions feel free to post them and you can always share my videos and like them thank you and all the best